Cheeks, hashtag send my squad shout outs go out to Alexis, Goodyear, Lily Dang, Olivia Story, Ava A, and Doggo Slimes. If you'd like a shout out in my next video, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below hashtag send my squad once you have done that. Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Joyce here and in today's video I'll be doing a review on Glamour Slimes. She's a super underrated Etsy shop and I'll have a link to her down below in the description box. So yeah, if you liked today's video, definitely make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and let's just get straight on into it. So moving on to packaging and shipping, everything came super nicely bubble wrapped and nothing leaked or cracked. And in total, I paid around $19 for this package, which I think is a pretty good price for two slimes. And it also took five days to get to me, which is super fast shipping. And she was also kind enough to include a bunch of extras, including two pieces of candy, a super cute popsicles eraser, and her standard extras baggie, which included a baggie of borax, some citric acid, a business card, and a coupon code. So the first slime I have here is called Mango Cheesecake, and she uses the same containers I do, so I know that they're already super sturdy. And I absolutely love her logo sticker, and I thought the name label for this slime was adorable. I paid $6 for this slime, which is an amazing price, and it came topped off with the cutest sprinkles. And I just love the color, and overall, I thought the appearance of this slime was amazing. I think this slime was unscented. If it was, I didn't catch anything, but it's totally fine. The texture definitely made up for it. This slime was a super fluffy, chewy butter slime, and this one inflated so, so much. And it was just super sizzly and amazing. It had some great ASMR and some pokes and bubble pops, and the overall, this slime was just super relaxing to play with i really don't have any complaints for this slime i thought it was amazing the only thing i would say is that i would love to have some scent in this one but that's totally a personal preference so yeah i'm gonna give this slime a, a big 10 out of 10 it was amazing So the next slime I have here is called Homer's Frosted Pink Donuts, and this is inspired by The Simpsons, and I love the show, so I knew I just absolutely had to get this slime. It came with a 5-ounce base, some clay mini donuts, which I thought was so cute. It also came with a baggie of some rainbow sprinkles and glitters, pink foam beads, and some hot pink drizzle, which was so, so pretty. So I did first test out the base, and I do have to say it was a bit jiggly, which did end up affecting the end texture. Um, but for now, the base was really nice, and now I'm just going to go ahead and start assembling it, starting off by placing the adorable stack of mini donuts on top. I absolutely love how cute that is and then I just drizzles on some pink drizzle and it was just so so adorable and I love the vibrant color I thought it was gorgeous and then I also just added on top the pink foam beads and sprinkles I did have to individually place each foam bead because they just wouldn't come out of the bag and they're just sticking to it but that's just a very minor complication and I didn't mind placing them on one by one myself um, but yeah, I just sprinkled on the sprinkles and glitter, and overall the end result was just so, so adorable. Slime kit was just the cutest thing ever, and I will talk more about the ending texture after. So for now, enjoy some ASMR.
Overall, I had so much fun mixing this kit together, and I really enjoyed the overall experience. Um, but I do have to say the ending texture was definitely very unique and different. Not in a bad way, it was just interesting. Um, it was chewy but thin at the same time. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it was definitely like weird. It was soft and squishy, but it rip at times. I'm not sure why, but I just wanted to point that out. But besides that, this line was just super fun to play with. It had some great pokes and bubble pops, and inflated to nearly three times its size, which was super impressive and overall i would highly recommend this one if she has any left in stock and of course i'm gonna give this one a big 10 out of 10 this one was just so so fun cute and creative And yeah, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Overall, I would 100% recommend the Slime Shop. I mean, these slimes are absolutely amazing and they are super affordable as well. So I've linked them down below in the description box, like I said before, and I would highly recommend checking them out. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.